Okay, so we're at uh, a very advanced stage now, um, or advanced in the model, should I say. Um, what I like to do is um, keep the model as clean as I can in terms of um, stray polygons and odd um, f facets um, when you've when you've got um, badly constructed polygons. So I do a review pass. So I'll go back now and work from top to bottom. Um, and literally just clean up any um, odd looking um, bits of, of mesh and remove any or as many triangles as I can um, so I'll just work away and talk as I'm doing it and I'm looking for oddities really so I'll try and explain what I mean as I find them so there these these two edges were too close together for my liking um again whenever as I've mentioned whenever you you have two edges that are too close together you'll get a crisp edge and it's not always what we want so we'll try and fix as many of those as we can this little area here worries me because we um we knew that, that that little area inside was going to be a little crease. So what I've done there is um, changed it now. And we've ended up with two quads here. And that will look infinitely better now when it, when it subdivides, which you'll see in a second. So there it looks. It doesn't have that pinching effect that we would have had with that. So let's just move that in a bit more, keep refining this area here. And then we when I close this across now, it won't look quite so bad. Yeah, that's fine. Bring that toe out a little bit. Trying to keep the shape of the hoof um intact, as intact as possible. So we need to tuck this under here now. And to do that, I'll split it. Um, see where the split goes first comes all the way around underneath because of this polygon here we get a problem so I think if we correct that might be an opportunity to correct it The bottom of, of feet, um, not the most sensitive of areas really, because obviously you're not going to see much animation. Um, so if you ever have, have any problems that you want to hide, uh, the bottom of the feet is a great place to do it. And if you're doing a, a project that doesn't really matter if you have triangles or not, then wherever possible if you stick them down underneath then they're out of the way this is looking like some sort of a odd crazy jigsaw puzzle which is not really what I'm after if you remember what I'm trying to do here is to get a, a run along this line here so by doing that I think we've got it yeah. and then split it like so and then check it in sub D and we'll just bring that what will be a folder skin down across like so it gives you a nice ridge of skin there another split that and I think we're going to do the same sort of thing yeah. 
So here we because we've split it across. Didn't see that there. There's an odd polygon there. I've just done a silly thing there by extruding an edge for some reason, so I hit the wrong key. So as you can see, we're just looking for ways to make these. Uh, you can see the feet on the the back there looking better. Okay. Let's just join these up and then we're going to have to run some splits up here which will give us some triangles unfortunately. I'll leave it there for now. Okay, just notice we've lost a bit of volume on the uh, the hoof front there, so we'll pull that back. I'd like a crisper edge around the bottom of this foot, so the way to do that is to run a split all the way around and keep it close to the base like so. So when that subdivides now, it's a nice crisp edge. So fine with that leg. Let's just have a look if there's many triangles around on that leg. I'll just do a split around a the calf there. Oops, one too many splits. It's around the calf there is all I wanted. It's doing a bit of smoothing while I'm here. Clean up house while we're visiting. Um, okay, so go to object mode F, selection. I want to select by special geometry option. And now we'll have a look. So I want to select faces with sides less than four. So anything with sides less than four, select. So that's going to let me see how many triangles I've got. So we've got one down here, one here, one here, one here, literally wherever we've done bits. So we haven't got that many to, to remove really. Um, what can be a problem is if you've got one down here and it's miles away from any other one. Um, when you come into the end of a of a modeling process um simply because it 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 can be hard to then without putting splits in it becomes hard because it's so far away from another triangle so so we'll uh, we'll lose these two now and then we know we've got no triangles at the bottom so what we need to do is do another split that will go from one of them to the other. So I'm going to run a split from there right the way down this toe and along the bottom to here. So let's go back and review that. So split from there to there isn't a problem because it gives us an edge there which makes it more crisp on the on the edge of that horn and what we'll do is so that's that one turn into a quad which is good go back down underneath if you remember we split to here so we'll make that now a good quad I'm going to just quickly select all those there and clean that up with a smooth because it's really annoying and then while I've got this foot like that I'll shape the bottom of the foot because it wasn't looking at all foot like there we go um, so back to the task in hand we've got 
triangle here. Triangle here. So let's join that to that. Remove those faces. That gives us all quads, I think. There we go. And again, some nasty geometry here, but really doesn't matter because it's the base of a foot. Far too much, probably, um, than we need uh, for this sort of project. But we haven't got a polygon limit, so we're fine. Okay, so back to select the whole object, select special geometry option, and select triangles again and as you can see no triangles at all on the no tries on the the leg and we've got two here one there and one there which are quite close and one really silly one there which we'll get rid of in a moment so first let's get rid of this one so what we can do is I don't want to put any more splits that way through the body so I'll look at where we need to put splits and I probably would say it needs it here. So we'll change the flow. What I have been doing quite a lot that you will have seen is selecting two points, that one and that one for example and then cutting across with X. Now there's a tool that a lot of artists use in a lot of programs called Spin Edge. So if you select that edge and then call up Spin Edge which is there, which is forward slash, and hit it you can see that the edge has, has moved around so the so it literally is spinning within the two quads. Now I'll just use the keyboard now as you can see the edge is spinning around. Now, it's a it's a quicker way. Um, I just got in the habit of using the the cut and the delete edge. So as you can see now, if I just it's gone dark because it's a now not a, a non-planar um, face. So I'll just smooth it to get rid of that. And as you can see, it's moved that triangle right across for me there. So we'll use that again in a minute and show you that. Let's just keep moving this triangle. So you can another way of moving a triangle is to merge as you can see. So let's move the triangle to there now. We're actually moving it across bit by bit. So I could do that again. Merge. Again it's joining those two. Let's just smooth that back out a little bit like so. So already the uh, triangles moved right across the back. Now if we pull that out like so and run a split down we'll eventually meet here and lose that edge and that should have got rid of that triangle and that's got rid of that one. And it gives us a nice clean back to work with. Let's just put him some spinal shape back in. Like so. And that I think corrected all of those triangles down there. This seems a lot of work actually, um, just correcting triangles. Um, it really does depend on the job that you're doing. Um, some studios will not let you model any other way others um, depending on the type of model that you're doing um, have a different set of rules so it's good to be able to do it if you need to um, and depending on the job that you're doing really is whether you, uh, you use it or not so next one was up here now this is a very easy one to correct and it's always easy to correct if you're near a center line here because all you do is simply take that edge away and then just work your way in like so and that's done corrected in seconds what 
what that's highlighted is that I can get away with putting in a couple of splits actually one through here so we can give the shoulder blades more definition and one through here so what we'll do is split this one then split this one and then use what we've just done there because we've got them quite close together we'll clean them up as we go along bring that one up there like so and they're already quite close together as you can see just do a bit of spinning the edges as we did before add in an edge let's get rid of that point there and delete that edge and that's corrected all of that nice flow around there let's just have a look under the arm an area we haven't looked at for a while I seem to remember there was some issues down here. Well, we've obviously got um, some five-sided polygons here, so we'll we'll get rid of these straight away. And this might generate more triangles back, as you can see, but um, I just want to get rid of the ones that I know about so I'm going to have a look now for F to select the model selection special geometry just have a quick look at what there is so there's that triangle I've just put there I'm fine with that there's a triangle there on the neck which I'm going up to fix one there and one on the head nothing major so we'll now go in and select faces that with more than four sides and we can see now let's just double check so there's one on the knee that we left behind which is simply because we didn't split it through the middle there so that's that one corrected and that then cries out for a split around the bottom to give us a nice crisp edge Oops, doing the wrong thing there. Okay, so select it again. So that's that one gone. So we've got one underneath. Now we know there's a, a five sided there. And a triangle there, so we can very quickly remedy that. So bring that along there with a split. We'll go into our um, merging that we were doing. So you can see it's come down there now nicely. Bringing them together. And again, however you feel, whether it's spin edge or split, totally up to you. And different packages. This is obviously for silo. Different packages have different ways of doing things. So, I mean, here I could just delete all those edges, like so, and then just connect them back up. Another way of doing it. All the same, really. And that's that one gone. So, let's go back, select special geometry, more. Okay. 
one down here that's been missed and that leaves me with a, a triangle down there which is a bit of a bit of a pain really um so what I'm going to do is fit a split in down here which I probably would have done later split all the way up to here for now even out the polygon distribution like so so that's gone down at that end now quite dense in some areas now Got to start being careful really that we don't go too extreme with the polygon count at this uh, it's a later stage of the model and I was going to say early stage but it's not we're, we're coming to the uh, to a detailing stage now um, so we can add lots of detail, but there's no point in adding detail that you don't actually need. So it's still a, a case for being careful um, and not to add unnecessary amounts of of geometry. Really, you can see that the um, his his buns formed quite naturally. Really, um, we didn't have to do a lot of work to get those looking like that. Um, they just formed as we were we were building the rest around, which shows that we've got reasonably good anatomy um, that that area is not good so um, simply because there's some bad flow around there it's not giving us particularly good edge flows which will might lead to problems so we can have a look at that um, it's that last split that caused that for us which is really because I missed it <laughs> um, it happens a lot Okay, his, his um, cheeks need to come down a bit lower, so we'll come into uh, good old favourite soft selection. And just drag his cheeks to where we need them. Like so. Just looking um, for opportunities while we're there. Okay. Go back yet again. Go to selection. Still got soft selection on that, so we'll turn that off. So we're okay now. We know we've got one on the hand there, which I don't think is a problem, if I remember rightly. Yeah, we just need to split that through it. So that one's done. Now, just check what it is we've got here. Um, so we've got a five-sider there. Five side of there, again two, very easy to correct. Uh, problem down there, one on the chin, so we know where all those are now, so we can quickly come in and fix these.
and these are very easy areas to to correct because they're right next to a seam um, just simply split them away and we're going to need lots of geometry down here because this will be um, a very baggy neck um, there'll be lots of wrinkles down here so absolutely no problem with that um, going back right back where we were now um, just seeing some opportunities while I'm up here to add more geometry selectively I remember thinking about doing that earlier and didn't do it. Um, double check where they are now. So there's that one on the neck and that one on that one. Okay. Let's just have a look what opportunities we've got. So, amazingly, we've got a triangle right next to a five-sided, which is about the easiest one you can fix. So you just turn the triangle into a quad, which alleviates the problem on the five-sider. There was one here by the nose, which again, as it's so close, to the center line, it incredibly easy to fix we just even the distribution out and actually that's a split that we would have put in anyway um, to get the crease behind the, uh, the nasal fold so no problem with that one and then a triangle there and a five sider there so what we'll do is split our way around with this first of all which doesn't give us any problems really and um, we would want that geometry there anyway we'll split it to there and then come across the head and this is an area where we'll put lots of wrinkles anyway so we can work our way back and get rid of that one there so I think that corrected both of them in one fell swoop this is a loop that I quite like to split again that gives us some more wrinkles around the forehead let's just sink that in okay another quick way to look as we started with is to have a look at that scene info so it's still saying we've got two more than four five siders and three three siders so at this stage I'm going to switch off mirroring so I'm working on just this one half and then tell me where they are and you might have to look inside the mesh and another way is to just pull them across like so there's one hidden there in the foot and one up there in the head or two up there in the head so as you can see it's pretty much behind the ear would have been a nightmare to find and the other one was down in the foot here Ooh. 
Oops. That's just simply because we lost a join there. That's that one corrected. And behind the ear here, which we will correct with a split from the center line. As I said, anyone that's near a center line is very easy to correct. So, and then just delete the faces that you don't need. So we've still got three, three, three. Down here you've got uh, 2,100 four siders and three, three siders. So we'll last job. We'll quickly go back to faces with less than four. find those I mean difficulty locating it but it's here somewhere Last couple to do. Oh, whoops, added it to the air by mistake then. What's that one? Cleaned. Smooth it down a bit. And then one single triangle left, which I remember was under here somewhere. There she is. Ended up adding a point by mistake there. Okay, just clean it up here. smooth it that was the final thing so we should now have a mesh a solid mesh that's constructed out of 2143 quads if I instance mirror option back on we're very close to the um, concept We've got, when I mirror it across permanently, instead of just using the instance, that'll be a, a solid um, model. Um, it's going to be uh, 4,286 quads, which is still fairly low poly. 
um, but with it being a hundred percent quads now there's very little chance that we could mess it up and add in um, triangles because um, once you've got a solid mesh like so everything that you do will be a split um, generally what obviously you can add triangles by splitting a quad but if you keep to the principle that you, you want to keep the quads um, it's very straightforward um, not adding anymore so if I just smooth that like so and then I'll just go to object display mode and we'll change that to smooth shade and we'll turn off um, hide the wireframe so that will give you a quick look at the mesh Lose this now, and you can see it's got the overall shape that we need. Um, everything from now on is uh, detailing. And the fact that, as I've said already, it's got 100% quads makes life very much easier for us. Mm -hmm.